Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's that time of year again. It's time for the top five pens of 2018. Um, now, uh, a few things I want to mention. Not all of these pens came out in 2018, but I purchased all of these pens in 2018. These are my top five. These are not the best reviewed pens of 2018. Um, some of them I don't even recommend that you purchase, to be honest, but these are my, my five favorites from the year. Um, and I do have some quick honorable mentions. So I will go ahead and go into that. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first honorable mention, these aren't in any particular order. This is the Moon Man M2. Um, I was really, really surprised by the quality of this pen, the the fact that it comes with you know two nibs and it's so well made for the price is astounding. It's a really good size. It's a very, very nice pen that I like quite a bit. Um, it didn't make the list just because there there are a lot of other really, really good pens on this list, but this one is is a fantastic fantastic option if you're okay with eyedroppering your pen this is one of the better ones to look at um, at least that I've picked up this year next up is the Conklin Duraflex so this pen is uh, it's a little unique it has Conklin's Omniflex nib on it which is it's a pretty good nib but I really really like the uh, the size of this pen quite a bit ergonomically it's very very nice I like the color scheme a lot and the nib is interesting. You can use it for everyday writing. You don't have to use it for flex. But the option's always, always there. Um, the pen is surprisingly well built, and I think for the price, it's a pretty good value, especially coming from uh, a brand like Conklin. Last honorable mention. This is the Kara's Custom Starliner XL. Um, this is a, a limited edition that just came out. I've really only had this for a few days, which is why it didn't make the list. I haven't used it extensively enough, but I really, really like the pen. It writes super, super well. Honestly, these Bach nibs are kind of a toss-up for me. But um, for a smaller, slimmer pen, I think this is a really, really, really amazing entry. And um, I really look forward to reviewing this and carrying it a lot more in 2019. All right. Now that all of the honorable mentions are out of the way, and again, those are all great pens if you're looking to purchase any of those. I, I recommend it. Um, it's time for me to go ahead and get on to this list. I don't necessarily per recommend purchasing all of these pens. I mean, you can go watch the individual reviews for the ones I do have reviews of to see if I recommend them or not. But let's go ahead and get started with number five. Um, this may surprise some people, honestly, because I wasn't a huge fan of this pen initially, but it's really grown on me, and I think the influence that it's had on the market is astounding. And I think it's probably the best beginner pen from from now forward, at least for the foreseeable future. That's gonna be the Twisby Go. So I bought this pen, it has become my wife's my wife's pen um, very, very quickly. But this pen is very, very nice. I love the interesting filling mechanism back here with the uh, little push button filler. It holds a decent amount of ink. They're very, very affordable. They're like $18. And um, th these pens, these are just great. These are really, really, really good pens, especially when it comes to the price. They offer an interesting filling mechanism. And I think while they do make a really good beginner pen, they're also really good if you've been in the hobby for a while and you just want something different. And these definitely offer that. Um, I really enjoyed my time using this pen. I, I love refilling it when I have the opportunity. I'm um, cleaning it out isn't the best, but it's, it's not too bad. And honestly, I think it's one of the most innovative pens of 2018. All right, the next one is a rather new addition. Um, uh, I put it fairly low on the list, but I really, really like this pen. I really, really do. I've only been using it for a few days, um, so I was kind of hesitant to put it on the list, but I did the same thing with Pilot E95S last year, so it's fun. Um, this pen really surprised me, honestly. I'd wanted one for a while, but when I actually used it, it, it really, really blew me away. And that's gonna be the Conklin Word Gauge. Um, this is the blue one. It's hard to tell because I have um, some ink in there, but you can kind of see the the letter count or word count rather um, gauge there. And it's just a novelty, but the pen itself is very, very nice. It's a piston filler. It's got a really, really good weight. It's got a good size to it. The nib is very, very smooth. Um, I may honestly upgrade this to either steel or titanium, or I'm sorry, a gold or titanium nib in the future because I really, really like this pen. Um, the nib's just fine. 
honestly, I don't know that I would have to upgrade it. It's surprisingly springy. It's very, very smooth. The ink capacity on this pen is really good. The faux carbon fiber looks really, really nice. I really like the blue ink window, even though it's very difficult to see here. It, the pen is, is well built. I'm not seeing any issues. The clip is really, really nice with the little spring thing. It's just, it's a nice pen. And honestly, um, these pens are discontinued now, but you can pick them up for a really good discount. And before I even do the review, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, if you've been wanting one of these, if you're interested, go ahead and buy it because this pen is very, very good, especially for the current price. All right, those two were, were very, very good pens, but now we're into my top three. Um, these are the pens that I've used the most this year that I've bought and loved. Um, and while I don't recommend purchasing necessarily the ones in the number one and number two spots, just because of price restrictiveness, um, this one right here at number three, I highly recommend if you can get your hands on it. This is the Kara's Customs Decograph Monsoon. Not necessarily the Monsoon model, but the Decograph period. I haven't tried the plastic one, which is their normal offering, but this aluminum one is very, very nice. Um, this pen ergonomically for me is a dream. I absolutely love using this pen. It's just about perfect. Um, there are a few things I would change. You can go check out my review of that, but it, it's fantastic. This is my first titanium nib. They're very, very fun to write with. This pen performs amazingly, and for the price that I got it for, which is I think about $130, it's it's just it's fantastic. I can't recommend this pen enough, and this is probably the most the pen that I would recommend the most from this year. Um, this is easily one of the best pens that I own. Period, and it's just it's amazing. I really can't state that enough. All right, on to number two. Um, this pen is fairly expensive, so I don't necessarily recommend purchasing it, but I really, really like the pen, and I've really, really enjoyed having it. This is the Sailor 1911 Large Royal Tangerine. Um, I got this at the Atlanta Pen Show, and my review of this pen was less than stellar. Um, there were a few issues that I had with it, but to be honest, the more I've used it, the better it's gotten for me. Um, I went and smoothed out the nib a little bit, and it's just, it's amazing. Um, their nibs are, are beautiful as well. Um, they're probably the second most pretty nib that I own. And right here with this Ama Eero just kind of sitting in the in the crevices, little dips in the nib, it looks gorgeous. Um, I really, really like this pen. There are a few things that I would change about it, but not many. And it's, it's a very good, consistent writer. It's one of the finer pens that I own, nib width wise, so I, I do get a fair amount of use out of it, and I've been using it a lot more lately, and I, I've really, really grown to completely appreciate this pen. Again, I don't necessarily recommend purchasing this pen, it's about $300, but if you could find one used or something like that, um, it's really, really nice. Just the Sailor 1911 large in general, it doesn't have to be this color. Um, this color is North American exclusive though, which is... Why you can get the Sailor 1911 Large a little bit cheaper in other places, and um, I recommend trying one out first. But very, very good pen, and uh, the more I've used it, the more impressed I've become with it. All right, on to that coveted number one spot in my collection. This is the pen that I have probably used the most this year. I've really, really enjoyed this pen. It is my most expensive pen by far. I don't recommend purchasing it unless you can also find it used, but I, I don't regret buying it at all. It's beautiful, it's a magnificent writer, it has probably my favorite type of filling mechanism in it, and it's just, it's a great, great, great pen. And that's gonna be the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. So this pen is very, very pretty. I like it a lot. But on top of that, it's, it's a magnificent writer. Um, ergonomically for me, this is perfect. It's even a little bit better than the Decagraph, to be honest, just because the grip's just a tad bit wider, I believe. Um, there are a few things I would change about it, but to be honest, it's, it's just a magnificent pen, and Pelican has, in my opinion, the prettiest nibs out of any pen on the market. Um, their two-tone nibs especially are, are beautiful, but this pen is just, this is astounding. 
I really, 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 really like this pen. And it's it's probably my favorite pen to just pick up and write with. It makes me want to write, which is very, very important um, when you have as many pens as I do, um, that you want to use them. And this one definitely makes me want to use it. All the details in it, the the way it writes, it's just, it's perfect to me. Um, there are very few issues with it, to be honest, and I, I really, really like this pen. All right, so let's go ahead and bring them all up here um, at the number one spot. Again, we have the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. At the number two spot, we have the Sailor 1911 Large Royal Tangerine. The number three spot goes to the Keras Customs Decagraph Monsoon. Number four is the Conklin Word Gauge. And number five is going to be the Twisby Go. So this this list definitely took some deliber deliberation on my part, um, hence the honorable mentions and stuff like that. But these pens are the ones that have impressed me the most that I've really enjoyed using the most out of this last year. Um, even this one that I've only been using for a few days, I've really, really liked it, honestly. So let me know what your top five of 2018 is. You don't have to, you know, just include pens that you've purchased in 2018. You can include pens that you've purchased since you started, doesn't really matter. Just let me know what your top five are. Um, if there's any pens that you think I should pick up and try out that might make it on the list, let me know that as well. And also keep an eye out for my top five inks of the year. And um, I may do top five knives. Those videos aren't really, they don't do all that well, but I like doing them, so I may put that out as well. But um, yeah, let me know what your top five is. And if you have any questions about any of these pens or any of the honorable mentions that I brought up earlier, just let me know. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you had a great 2018, and I hope you have a wonderful 2019. Happy New Year.